Comedian Stephen Wright, and I guess we should also credit him maybe with being a bit of a philosopher, once commented that black holes are where God divided by zero. And I won't get into the physics of it, and you know, obviously the, the metaphor breaks down in certain ways, but it is strangely appropriate. Because black holes are where our current understanding of physics seem to break down. And dividing by zero, as simple of an idea as that seems to be, is where our mathematics also breaks down. This is un undefined. And sometimes when you see undefined when you're in math class, it seems like a very strange thing. It seems like a very bizarre idea. But it really means exactly what the word means. Mathematicians have never said what defined what it must mean to divide by zero. What is that value? And the reason they haven't done it is because they couldn't come up with a good answer. There's no good answer here, no good definition. And because of that, any non-zero number divided by zero is just left undefined. You know, 7 divided by zero, 8 divided by zero, negative 1 divided by zero, we say all of these things are just undefined. Now you might say, hey, you know, well, if we can just define it, let's at least try to come up with a definition of what it means to take a non-zero number divided by zero. So let's do that right now. And we could just take the simplest of all non-zero numbers. We'll just do it with one, but we could have done this with any non-zero number. Let's take the example of one. And since we don't know what it means, or we're trying to figure out what it means to divide by zero, let's just try out really, really, really small positive numbers. Let's divide by really, really small positive numbers and see what happens as we get close to zero. So let's divide by 0 0.1. Well, this will get us to 10. If we divide 1 by 0 0.01, that gets us to 100. If I, let me go really, really close to zero. If I divide 1, by 0 0.000001, this gets us, so this is not a tenth, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousandth, hundred thousandth, this is a millionth. One divided by a millionth, that's going to give us one, one million. So we see a pattern here. As we divide one by smaller and smaller and smaller positive numbers, we get a larger and larger and larger value. So based on just this, you might say, hey, well, I, I've got some, somewhat of a definition for 1 divided by 0. Maybe we can say that 1 divided by 0 is positive infinity. If we, as we put smaller and smaller positive numbers here, we get super, super, super large numbers right over here. But then your, your friend might say, well, that worked when we divided by positive numbers close to 0. But what happens when we divide by negative numbers close to 0? So let's try those out. Well, 1 divided by 0 0.1, or I should say negative 0 0.1, that's going to be negative 10. 1 divided by negative 0 0.01, that's going to be negative 100. And if we go all the way to 1 divided by negative 0 0.000001, yep, I drew the same number of zeros, that gets us to negative 1 million. And so when we see when we, we keep dividing 1 by negative numbers that are closer and closer and closer and closer to 0, we get a very different answer. We actually start approaching negative infinity. So over here, we said maybe it would be positive infinity. But you can make an equally strong argument that it could be a very different number. Po negative infinity is going the exact opposite direction. So you can make an equally strong argument that it should be negative infinity. And this is why mathematicians says, well, there's just no good answer here, especially one that's consistent with the rest of mathematics. They could have just said it's equal to, you know, 42 or something like that, but that would have that would make no sense. It's neither one of these values, and it wouldn't be consistent with everything else we know. So they just left the whole thing undefined.